Good evening, I'm Marley Tuscus. After getting slammed with snow last week and warmer temps this week, many areas are dealing with rising water and flooding. One of those places is Niagara Falls, and that's where we find News 4's Dylan Morello tracking conditions for us. Dylan? Marley, I'm currently standing in Cayuga Village just south of the Niagara Falls Airport, and I can tell you right here at this time yesterday, water levels were knee high. Right now, the water has receded, but still intersections like this one closed as well as countless damage to neighbors homes. We got the skirting of my house destroyed, her side room flooded, a lot of residents lost skirting. While conditions Saturday may be better than they were 24 hours ago, one resident says the water damage in her home has caused extensive damage. I woke up at uh, like three inches of water and by five o'clock in the afternoon, I was looking at almost 11 inches of water. I'm worried about the sewage. I'm worried about the mildew. I got to clean out. I had a bunch of wood, you know, uh, stuff that it's going to hold all that bacteria. So I got to pretty much scrap everything, got to redo my floor in the side room, which it's a sunroom, and my physical home was okay, yeah, which yeah. is a blessing, but it's definitely going to be a mess. Seeing the rising water and the fact that they knew of neighbors stuck out of their homes, Brittany and Megan put to use an old canoe they had in their backyard. Originally meant for recreational use, it became a life raft for many the last 24 hours. As I tipped over my canoe figuring there were going to be people at work who needed to get home, kids that had to get home from school. Yeah, I yeah. was blessed to have that, but yeah, we went out at about 8 o'clock and saw who needed to get home, and we ended up bringing about five people home in the middle of the night. <laughs> Woodlands Trailer Park in Lockport also dealt with roads being blocked off for a good reason as water spanned the length of the two-lane road after a viaduct under the road overflowed. The water has since receded with Woodlands office managers saying in a statement they contacted their engineering contractor to evaluate the road and drainage system. Still, you should never drive through any deep bodies of water. Don't brave the water if you don't have to. We saw a lot of cars trying to make it through and they were smoking like crazy. They came out making really terrible sounds. So just a scary situation for many neighbors across the area these past couple of days, but one that only working together can we get through. Reporting live in Niagara Falls, Dylan Morello, News 4.